All right, part two in the 10 behavioral um, items that can lead to success in your trading world. We're again talking about your trading, we're talking about uh, discretionary trading versus mechanical versus quantitative trading. So is your trading style number three, here's the third one, is your trading style congruent with your psychology, with your personality, with your character? The top traders realize, people ask me all the time, you tend to trade quite a bit from the short side. That's absolutely true because for some reason, I find it easier, I find that stocks, options, equities, futures, all trade up slowly more than they do downward. So that satisfaction of finding the thing that is overvalued, beyond value, needs to come back into a common node of value is something that I'm very good at. So I stick with that. That is a personality trait that I tend to know when things are out of whack, whether they're overvalued or undervalued. It tends to be more things are overvalued than they are undervalued in markets. It's unlikely uh, the novice trader is gonna even think about this, but um, the same style and the approach that you have to trading uh, eventually settles in. And, and that's really, you know, again, what I'm comfortable with. You're gonna get this from finding a mentor, somebody that can help you with that, finding that style, defining it, and working with it. Hey, I may tell you that I like trading from the short side when things are expensive, and you may say, I actually like that the reverse. Great, I hope that works, and it will work for you if you can get into that mindset. So it has, your trading style has to match your psyche, your character, your personality. To do this, you have to have a high degree of self-awareness. It's just real simple. Trading is the most, uh, I can't even describe sometimes how uh, you have to be self-aware in this business. You have to be able to admit mistakes. And you know, I can do it better in trading probably than any part of my life, strangely enough. Um, um, it's, it's, I, I struggle with that, I would say, in some of my relationships, but I have a, I have a pretty easy time admitting when I'm wrong when it comes to the trading world. Um, you have to be able to be honest with yourself, have some self uh, you know, uh, appraisal and some reflection, and then make the changes appropriate. So this could take a lot of years for a lot of people, and some it, would may, it may never even work out. So finding, you know, finding that, uh, that place that you're able to, again, admit uh, you know, uh, kind of how your personality matches your own psyche and the way that your character is and behaves is really key. And I think that that comes over uh, an amount of time and really what makes you comfortable, what makes you uncomfortable. So some of the behaviors again there, are you consciously aligned with uh, this kind of approach to strengthening uh, your your, your, you know, or your core beliefs and your strengths, do they match, does your trading match how you're behaving in the marketplace? This will happen pretty naturally and, and do, doing kind of an appraisal. I'm more comfortable from the long side. I'm more comfortable with a, uh, you know, some type of gap strategy that, that really works out for me. I only want to behave in certain times in the market because I don't have time. That kind of fits maybe the short term, I don't, you know, ADD personality. I only want to behave when I can uh, do this. So set goals that are congruent with your personality and your psyche. Number four. How do you reduce anxiety and stress? It's key, because every day you're gonna have a position that goes against you. Not every day, but most often uh, I expect a position to go against me more than it goes exactly the way I need it to go right away. Uh, so when you're trading, uh, you know, what is it that you can do? I always say get out, go for a walk, get some exercise. Exercise, eat right, all these things are important to uh, generating the right activity on your side. So financial markets are a good example of a complex system, right? So there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of things going on, and you really need to consider uh, those moving parts and how you can reduce them by making your life simple. Maybe eating the same breakfast every day. Take that decision out. Uh, you know, kind of a uniform in clothing. I, I like to wear jeans or I like to wear shorts, depending on the temperature. I like to wear a golf shirt or I like to wear a button down or a t-shirt. It's pretty simple. I keep it pretty simple so I don't have to make those decisions. What do I eat? Eat healthily, he healthy every day, protein, fruit, and vegetables. Stick to that, stay away from the sugars, the refined sugars, and you'll treat yourself well by removing some of that anxiety and stress because you're dealing with the right things. So having that complex system, there's a huge amount of anxiety and stress that goes along with it because there's so many things, basically most, thing, most things we don't have the answers to. I don't know. So the, the, the tactics and things that I use to kind of help around and, 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 do, and, and work in that environment include, I have the ability uh, mostly to be objective about myself. Um, you know, what am I good at? What, I don't want to get hurt. 
Uh, so I ski, but I kind of stick to the groomers. I, I stick with you know what works within my age and where I'm, you know, uh, mentally and physically able anymore as I a approach, uh, you know, the the older age. Uh, <clears throat> inspirational. Just find your spiritual sense, whether it's meditation, whether it's church, whether it's uh, community. Uh, take a walk. Sometimes for me is the greatest meditation. Getting out there, breathing the fresh air with nature. Nature has a way of cleansing anything that you can get from any screen anytime so it's really key make time away from trading make time away from the screens this is really important talk to people don't just talk to yourself and don't make yourself crazy share your thoughts and feelings go talk to a you know psychiatrist a, a therapist regular talk helps okay even if they're just listening a close friend who doesn't know anything about trading you'd be surprised what people uh, have encountered in their own lives and what can share and what they can share with you. This is all part of your mental well-being helps reduce anxiety and stress. Next I'm going to come up with uh, five and six. Five is humility and humbleness. We're going to talk a little bit about how having that is important. And trait number six, how to um, plan, prepare with patience and discipline. Back with uh, the next couple videos.